I am not guilty. Meru Governor Kawira Mangwaza pleads in impeachment hearing. Embattled Meru County Governor Kawira Mangwaza has pleaded not guilty to the charges she is facing in her ongoing impeachment. Appearing before the Senate on Tuesday, Kawira had the seven charges she is facing read to her, which she soundly denied, paving the way for her lawyer, Elisha Ongoya, to take the floor in her defense. A summary of seven charges includes Number one, misappropriation of county resources by using her relatives, namely brother, two sisters, brother-in-law, and her husband's brother to embezzle county funds. Charge number two includes engaging in nepotism and unethical practices by presenting her relatives as technical team for the purpose of traveling to China to satisfy cancer treatment equipment while knowing that they are not medical professionals. Number three is bullying, vilifying and demeaning other leaders. She is said to have excluded her deputy governor from official functions, posting demeaning messages about the deputy governor in a WhatsApp group and encouraging elected leaders and deputy governor subordinate staff to make demeaning remarks against him. Charge number four, illegal appointments and usurping stationary powers. She is accused of appointing a chief officer without the county's assembly approval disregarding the criteria in establishment of offices in the county without involvement of the county service board. She is also accused of employing more than 100 staff in her office and paying various cleaners as support staff. Number five is contempt of court by refusing to obey the court orders. Charge number six is illegally naming a public road after her husband without following the applicable stationary procedures. And charge number seven, contempt of the assembly by refusing to honor lawful summons to answer to parts of the impeachment motion and directing her chief of staff to write contemptuous letter to the assembly. Mwangaza's lawyer Ongoya dismissed the charges, arguing that her client is innocent and the petitions serve no solid case against the governor. The voting that you make in the Senate is constitutionally prescribed voting governed by your call sense and your oath of office, he told the Senate. This is the second impeachment case I filed against Governor Kawira at the Senate following a long-running friction between her and the county leadership.